Guest, hello and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Avan, and in the last episode we set up the train route from the uh, oil product outpost up here. And today we are going to get laser turrets up at plastic and we're going to do cracking. That was a nice reminder. So let's look at our turret coverage. We basically have nothing down here but we don't have many uh, many bad guys either so I think it's fine we'll just panic and run around screaming if we get attacked or maybe let's try this so the green stuff <clears throat> the green stuff is the construction area and not the logistic area so if we do this correctly Let's try this. If we go here, it's okay. We just sum and then here. And then that's a bad spot, I believe. Let's do here. We do have one turret, but it's fine. This will be completely useless because if they attack, they are going to attack down here, I think. Now we have issues, we don't have turrets in a proper box. So let's find the turret box. And why do we not have any? Because we didn't have batteries before, probably. So it's crafting now and, uh, <clears throat> sorry, and our bots will uh, send them out when they have uh, access to more good so let's do this let's be a bit sneaky and just go by train that was an effective way of moving around so let's see uh, up here we need defenses so um, we do the same as we did before we do this kind of blueprint and we plop one down here Good, well, it looks like we have everything in our inventory that we need, so let's try to not get hit by a train now. Do one on the corner here. Good. Now this this little thing, uh, the blueprint I'm copy pasting now, could be, um, uh, we could use walls around it in, in a square as well, which would definitely be better uh, but usually that's not an issue and if uh, because we aren't inside any network now anyway so if we uh, if we need to repair stuff we need to either either um, go up there ourselves or we need to uh, fix and make a bot system for it okay we're out of turrets now so let's take a couple from this location and let's remove these. Good. Okay. First mission complete. Uh, the second mission was, was cracking, cracking. Good. We probably forgot all the chemical plants we need. Uh, we definitely did. So let's set it up without having any, because we can set it up using ghosts now. So we have the tanks. We need um, heavy to light, and this place is our light oil storage. We don't have a heavy oil storage, I believe. And nope, we don't have heavy oil either though, so. If we, um, let's see, we do have solid fuel here. Oh, the fuel line, yeah. We also need solid fuel for something very interesting. I don't remember what. It might be the rocket fuel thing that we need for the, uh, the space science. I might also be wrong and we need solid fuel for, for something else. Let's see, yeah, the satellite is rocket fuel at least. We probably need it for something else, but uh, 
for the rocket itself, sure. Uh, but I'm not thinking rocket fuel, I'm thinking solid fuel. It doesn't look like we need it, but we can use solid fuel to, well, to fuel stuff. So maybe we should put it on a belt and funnel it down. Down to, um, down to the train station. And in that train station we can also do uh, we can make a fuel train if we, if we, uh, well, make our base that big. So heavy to light oil goes here, and and let's see. We we need to connect this to the um, to the network. We have cables, so that's fine. Uh, we have pumps, I believe. We made a whole bunch because one stack. So um, we do the this one and two, and then we do these two and these two. Good. And out is well, is this. No, it's not. We're, we're going to do this two by two. Oh, but we can't put them that close. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to do this. Good. So, so much faster to build these uh, using the uh, bots. That's, I enjoy using the bots for building. I also enjoy building before that but it's such a big step of the playthrough to unlock them. Let's see. Here and here, 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 and here. Good, that's the water. Now we need the heavy oil and we need a measuring tank for the heavy oil. So let's put that between and that would be, I guess this location is fitting. So if we do it like so, sure. Now this is a bit expensive, I know, but we can go walk through it. So I like it like that. Okay, and then we have this. Oh, but this is wrong because we need a, we need one of the pumps. The reason for the pump is that we're going to connect it to the, um, to the uh, cable system, the circuit network is the word. Because this is basically going to be an overflow valve. So green wire short, and then this is enabled if, if uh, heavy oil is above, is 25,000 I think in one of these. So Let's do 20,000, 20, yes. Good, so now it's offline. It's also offline because it doesn't have electricity, of course. Uh, so let's do this and connect like so. Put a lamp somewhere, good. Now this is tileable. Or is it? Nope, it's not because we have this thing. So what we do is we copy it once uh, here. Then we adapt this part, good. And now it's tileable, yes. Good, so, so now we have cracking going and um, for now we don't need much. And for now this this needs to be torn down and moved. Let's see here. Yeah, that's a bit better. Nice. And we need to do the same for the light oil cracking. Now, if we do, let's see. Let's remove the recipe on these and let's copy like so. And let's see if that functions the way I think it will. Let's uh, 
planet so we can have the water come in at the top possibly yeah that's easier so we connect here then we go like so good good and good and now we set the recipe okay so we are going to need more of these than we need of these because um because the light oil isn't used for anything except the solid fuel right now and the um, lubricant is being spent but the solid fuel isn't so why do we have blinkies here that's because we don't have chemical plants okay so we need to decide on how many <clears throat> sorry how many of these we need and right now we produce 45 light oil to 25 heavy and five second cast time I believe we have 10 of these no we have 13 so 13 times 45 that's awkward numbers uh, and it's every five seconds so it's nine every second nine times 13 is 130 minus 13 117 a second so uh, how many do we crack a second that's 30 for two seconds so 15 each and and I uh, 117 15 so if we do 10 that should be enough for everything so uh, for six eight and 10. Now, of course, this won't work until we connect everything. So, oh, and, and, and I had a uh, bad, bad thought here. So we need to connect, let's see, let's connect, let's use this actually. So if this one connects here, and this one connects here, then we don't, uh, then now we don't have light oil connected to this, which I guess we want. So if we go here, like, so now we have light oil in this, in this, all the way up here, that's good, but we want to connect it here as well. So if we, just go like this that's fine one extra thing uh, instead of we could squiggle it around as well but I, I think it looks better this way and it's very clear what I could have done is also connect it at the end but that's fine or oh, but we need to do the measuring tank between here now so um, tank goes here and then we connect here instead I kind of want it up so Blop. okay um, yeah so now we have the tank here what I, what I don't want is these tanks really. I just want this one. Hold up. So this needs to be uh, removed because we of course need a pump, but the pump can pump it directly in here. So that's fine. And the pump with a green wire will be connected and it will only be on if light oil is bigger than 20,000 set good which means it's off now because it's at 19 okay mining productivity finished i enjoy mining productivity that's 10 percent more very efficient so let's do let's do science we we are going to need speed modules and we are going to need 
I believe it's the productivity modules for the, yes. And we're going to need the furnaces. So let's do that one so we can get to the next science. So we also need to connect the out of this one to somewhere with petroleum. And this is petroleum and this is petroleum. And, oh, that's awkward. Let's see. So here, move it up, do a normal pipe so we can connect here. Good. Uh, can we fit one here? Yes. Good. And aligned. Okay. So that's petroleum and petroleum. We don't crack into anything else. Petroleum is the final product and we should have uh, enough storage for now. And when the cracking is happening, oh, 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 oh. no, it's green. That's good. Is this one running? No, we didn't connect the water. Oh, and we can't pass through here. That's some that's some awkward building. So this is a water pipe. I guess instead of connecting to a new one, we can just make a new one. Uh, if we have the materials, this is not the correct one. Uh, it's in here. And we had the materials to make one. That's very fitting because one is what we needed. So now it's cracking. Good. And hopefully, let's see, oh, we didn't do the maths for this, but I think we don't need many of the heavy oils because they eat 40 every two seconds, while this one only eats 30. So I think it's fine. We produce a lot less as well, 25, yeah. If we, if we fill up on this one, uh, we're going to have to do stuff, but I don't think that will be an issue. So let's also find out if the lubricant train is functioning. <laughs> it's actually almost full. Good. So full cargo, empty cargo. Let's see. Let's look at the line now. And that looks perfect. It's such a nice way of travel this. It took so long to move back and forth uh, with the um, with the just running. Oh, that was quick. Pumping out everything. Oh, and we have the light signals working as well. Nice. And I forgot what we were doing. Oh, yes, we needed the chemical plants. So uh, we are getting more and more sulfuric acid, which is nice. This one isn't powered. Let's power it. And also, do we, oh, oh, a train is coming. It brings plastic, nice. So do we have enough electricity? We do actually for a little while. That's, that's very nice. That's impressive actually. It is going to blow up when we get more, more uh, turrets. We, we uh, have good production of the turrets as well, apparently. This one, 40, is 40 enough? I think so. Uh, no, no, oh, of course it's enough for what we built now, but is it enough as a buffer? And I think so. So I'm going to sneaky up here and bogart the plastic train. And then we just go. Because the, um, mo the moving of the product is faster than the creation of the product, it doesn't matter if we borrow the train from time to time because, uh, yeah, because as you see, it's catching up with the production anyway. So let's go place all of these things and let's place a light source as well here, I think, and there, good. 
I like that we underground under these when we don't really need them anymore. That's something that we aren't going to fix really because it doesn't matter. So we can walk up top here. Hopefully no. Oh. No. So we need to walk all the way around. I don't like that. Uh, but I, I don't want to fix it. I don't want to. So we did connect, right? So this should be connected to these. It isn't getting rid of light oil. But the light oil, let's see, these aren't on, right? No, because this isn't on. Okay, um, let's do more science, just unlocking the different parts. These are running. Uh, oh, <laughs> only half of them have, have uh, the correct recipe. There we go. You should also be running. Light oil, light oil, hello. No recipe because we can reach it. Ooh, this was, this was something we definitely need to change. So we put this one here instead, and then we go like this. Good, connect, 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 on if, Light oil is about 20,000. There we go. And there we go. Power. And that doesn't look nice. This looks nice. Okay, and it's on and it's pumping. And recipe. Good. So the cracking of the light oil should work flawlessly. Now, I do want to change one thing. I want to get rid of these storage tanks. And the way I'm going to do that is by using a pump. And let's see, we remove this and do this. And then we, mm, hold up. We need to connect to the machines, both machines without being connected to to the tanks. There we go, and there we go. So now these will get from, let's see, uh, we do this because that way the tank won't get any from this side. Like so, it goes directly into the machines and and this tank isn't connected to any of these pipes. That's nice. And then we do a pump. And the reason for the pump here is we wanted one way flow. So there we go. Now it's going to empty out these. Hopefully it looks so awkward, but it's functional. Yes. And that's the main, main project and of course we can remove these when when they're done and I'm not sure what I think about this location either I kind of like to have it between uh, between like here after the cracking and stuff like that but I think it's fine I don't want to I don't want the cracking to to uh, be done over these, but I don't think that's an issue because this cracking isn't happening. Now we just have to wait until it empties out and that's going to take a while, which is fine. And we are getting more petroleum than we use right now. These are filling up. So that's nice. However, the biggest issue now, like we, we want more petroleum, 
Oh, actually, we don't. We, we get enough petroleum. So I think it's fine that these are clogged by light oil. That's going to solve itself very nicely when we connect something that needs the fuel. And talking of fuel, let's, let's not fuel the station because we are out of... Ah, we can use these actually. We don't need that much fuel. Let's get rid of some... Uh, actually, I don't think we have enough of those either. But let's see. Boop. And then we will go around. And then let's see, we need it all the way down here. So let's bring it um, here, I think. Yeah, that's fine. And there, looking at the number 37, we don't have enough. One down, and then we go like so. Kind of pretending to use pipes and leave everything we can underground. This can all, always be changed later. So removal of the trees. That's a nice thing to do using bots. And here. Now the way I'm doing this uh, is just holding the button, then it will connect all the way down. Structure is done. How are those made? Plastic, steel and copper. Okay. So here we need um, if we go like this, that's uh, that's a good way of doing it. And here, that one needs to go like so. And then we connect here. Let's not die now. Let's go behind the train. And perfect. Eleven belts left. And we have it set. So let's change the hotbars back again to use the um oh this is scary. Where's the train? Uh train is down there. Good, move, move. Good. And we need the power of these. Hmm. I'm thinking we should move it down one. So let's see. Oh, well, that's awkward. Like so. And so. And so. Whoop. And so, and then we need to move this down here as well. And like that. Perfect. Remove this. I haven't built using haven't built using bots in a long time. Oh, so I'm clicking the wrong button from time to time, but it's fine. That is fine actually. That looks good. I like it. So and now we have fuel for these trains, and we can build one more station over here if we want to make a uh, fuel train or a train that moves the solid fuel around. Oh, well, we can't cross here, so we need to go up. Science complete. Let's do the modules uh, or this. This one needs the blue chips, I think. Yes. So, um, that's but not not a lot better, but better. So that's the fuel for the trains. If we, uh, yeah, let's let's do a change right away. Let's do. Let's see. Uh, like so. 
to get on both sides of the belt and that's the wrong way to do it though because we want a three and three so you go here here and there and we use the wrong belt as well it's picky it's picky there we go so we have uh, text just happening this thing is probably not needed because it doesn't work on the artillery uh, but we we do want to research all of the all of the things uh, because that's an achievement even though even though uh, that's an achievement that uh, we have oh these are already empty hmm that's impressive That means this one should empty out as well, I believe, which is fun. So uh, remove, remove, remove. Good. So now the um, light oil is prioritized into the uh, into the production of solid fuel, and that's going to stop in a while because we don't use a lot of solid fuel the trains use a tiny bit but that's it and petroleum is used for plastic and the plastic thing is having fun electric mining drills so uh let's go get some mining drills uh because i just remembered that we coal fire the mining drills up here still so let's not run away from the robots. Good, and let's see if we remember the temporary temporary station button. Mm. Control click, control click. Yeah. And then we have to remove this to make it stop. So it, it was control click. You click the train to open this and then you control click to make a temporary station. That was uh, that was easy enough. Good. We should make a train station down here for personal travel as well. Uh, but right now we don't personally travel that much. Should also, I guess, remove this train now because if not, we're going to have a clog. So we have a lot more lubricant than we use, we have more plastic than we use, and we have more sulfur than we use. And everything is Oh, but we don't have we don't have steel. This is fun. So we have a, a bottleneck in a completely different area of the base now. Uh, but we have bots, so uh, finishing off this is going to be very very fast so let's do that we need a whole bunch of let's see reds and yellows I don't think we have enough yellows uh, on our person so let's bring those let's sure let's bring some yellows and let's see if we have the steel furnaces we don't uh, but we do make them and let's go pick them up Although, although, uh, I guess we already have other furnaces, yes. So let's put them back in the box. That would be like so. Uh, do we have our oh, electric balls? This is one of the nice things with the logistic system. It can make sure we always have stuff like this because we always need stuff like that. Let's do two stacks actually like so and bots good let's be sneaky and grab one stack and then the bots can i don't know chase us around and struggle i feel like i'm so mean to the bots when they have to when they have to try so hard uh, oh well that's why they are here 
So on this one, we need to do it a bit different because we need red. Let's see, uh, the red one is in. No, the red one is out instead of in. And these ones are in and then we need to go here and we need here. And we need here. Oh, we forgot the belts. So how many red belts do we want? We want 500. Yeah, 500 should be enough for almost any building project. This is nice. Uh, we do the electric. Uh, we do the yeah electricity, the power later. So we go like this and then we align, align, align. Oh, this is this is effective. Boop and boop. OK, and then we do the electricity and we align it with the electricity on the other side. So if we go like this, what's going to happen? It will it will conflict with the um, with the inserters, but that's great actually. So let's try. Yeah, looks good because it doesn't turn the inserters. <laughs> uh, that would be bad. Good. So we just doubled up our production of, um, uh oh, uh oh, no. So how can we do that? We made it a tiny bit too compact here. Mm -hmm. Like so, perfect. Yeah, perfect, beautiful. Okay then, so everything is set. Uh, why aren't we getting things up? Because we didn't upgrade. Oh, we can use the upgrade planner now. This is so much fun. I, I feel like just playing and playing. I'm going to do this upgrade before we stop for the day. And probably make a new upgrade planner with um, yellow belt to red belt. Which includes the undergrounds and the splitters. Good. And then we go obtain some... Uh, belt and we probably should upgrade these could have used the old upgrade planner that we just removed for that so um, bots are having fun giving us all the stuff good 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 and and let's see yeah we don't have power poles we don't have uh, we probably still don't have enough steel, uh, but the next the next time we make something like that is going to be in an outpost. So that's not that's not going to happen today at least. So this belt needs it doesn't need an upgrade at all because um, a red belt only makes a fifth of a red belt or a fourth. I think it's a fifth. Let's check so I don't say bad stuff. It's a fifth, yeah. And that means that even though it's at half speed, it only fills 40%. So that's fine. I'm not sure why I upgraded up here. But now it looks like the iron reaches all the way because it should be red all the way. We have so many belts. Let, let's look at what it's going to hit. It's going to hit the copper and it's going to hit the fuel. Let's actually hit the copper and it's going to hit the fuel in between, but that's fine. Ah, oh, this is nice. 
And then uh, the this one is done. This one is done as well. Let's let's look at it and see if it fills up. It doesn't, but that's because of the chests for some reason. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh no! We forgot to limit the chest. So so we have many chests now. Okay, let's get the bots. Let's jump on the belt here, and then, then we fix it. Now that that's probably eight. Like, I I think it's eight steel each, so eight thousand steel, or forty thousand uh, iron. Ooh, okay, so uh, we just need one stack. Thank you. Uh, but this is going to be used during the playthrough anyway so it's it's not a crisis it's just a little bit funny now we need more of these though 20 30 30 sure and uh, let's let the bots lose good so now we have enough steel it's stopping here at least uh, after these Oh, 45 each. Yeah, so so we we still need a lot of steel, but we don't need as many as these ones when they produce chests and chests and chests. Okay. Okay, so uh, we set up the things we were supposed to. We did the protection of the oil area. We did the cracking. How is it looking up here? Yeah, it's cracking down to 20. Oh, pew pew. Yeah. Okay. So we need to set up a repair station up here. And do we have repair kits being made? I don't think so. That's one of the things that should be made. So that's uh, wheels and greens. And that would be... Hmm. I guess here we don't need the turrets anymore. Do we though? No, we don't. So let's remove this. Let's remove this. And place this. Assembling machine one. What, what kind of silliness is that? Now, uh, assembling machines. That's something we're going to upgrade. I'm going to make a new upgrade planner. This is one of the things that I kind of get into. I was going to stop, but then suddenly I need to do all the things. And this is one of the things I like to do. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay, so this is repair kits. And that is not this one, that's fine. This one isn't used for anything. Jeez, that's such a silly belt. So yeah, if you use um, if you do them all like this, then copper at the bottom. But I guess then you have to squiggle the iron to get on both sides. So I think I don't think it's as messy as it looks. It kind of looks more messy than it is. So good and uh, red chest right here. And replace the lamp, uh, move the lamp there, and there, and there. And then we take these. Okay, so we need to at least have one stack on us. I think we're going to have two stacks of repair kits. And the reason for two is so we can dump one. There we go, there we go. There we go, and bots, sure. Bots are such a nice help with the stuff like this. Yeah, always want to have repair packs on us, and always want to be able to dump a stack when we uh, say, well, when we get up here, which should be soon. I'm going to bring a bunch of turrets as well, not this kind of turret. This kind of turret is going to Going to the trash, actually, and not this one. These. Good. And the grenades, sure. And the bullets, sure. 
Ah, this is nice. We can just get rid of all of the things. And mm, it's fine. Train stops. Uh, we want 10 of those. Good. So, uh, speed increase done. Completely done, actually. That's nice. And energy weapons damage is next. Now, there was something with the with the uh, military science. I think we have more than enough military science right now, but uh, at some point we're probably going to need to do something if I'm not mistaken, because at some point I think there was something weird going on with the inserters, some machines not getting any. But these ones have made 37, 57, 230 something. Okay, so these ones weren't connected, but then we connected them. And then this one, that was a thing. Good. Uh, so that's going to, oh geez. Oh, we have so many bots now, look at this. It's been producing bots all the time and uh, it just shoves them in when we um, uh, when we need them. Uh, let's look at the lump. No, we can't. Okay, so this is blowing up the power grid though, all of the bots. So uh, we need we need uh, repair kits. We have a bunch now. Uh, how is the time looking? It's looking like it's end times. So we need repair packs, repair packs at oil because of the, uh, be oh, let's see, we need, we need two stacks of these. Uh, good. So uh, because of the turrets, being damaged. Well, that's not a very helpful reminder because it's being repaired automatically. So, but this is fine. And um, we also need electricity. I don't think we need a reminder of that because that's going to be a huge thing, but we need electricity. That's not going to be a good reminder either. So, um, accumulator. Solar panels, are we going to go green? I don't know, but we want one accumulator anyway. That's a good measuring tool. We can even try to make an alert. Okay, so, and we need electricity. Plop, good. This is a nice reminder for next time. And uh, I really need to stop now. If not, I <laughs> have to run up there and fix it right away. So let's stop there for now. This has been so productive. So much is being done. Let's not go over all of it, but upgraded steel, fixed cracking, fixed everything almost. And we have so many bots now. Good. So thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed the spaghetti. Bye bye.